In today's video we're going to have a look at resetting scores when we die in Game Maker. So if I press play I'll show you what I mean by that. When I start my first level in this advanced maze game I can run around the room and start collecting diamonds. You can see down the bottom left that my score is going up. If I was to go and get hit by one of the bad guys, like so, you can see everything resets in the game apart from my score. Okay, it remains at 60. So I can go through again and collect a few more diamonds. If I get hit by a bad guy, my score stays the same, yet everything else resets. Now that's like giving the player a 110 point head start in this case. Okay, and we don't want to do that. We want the player's score to reset back to what it was at the start of the level if they are to run into one of the bad guys. Okay, so it's not too hard to do. So we'll pop into Game Maker now and just get into it. So the first thing we're going to do is open up Object Man, or whatever your main character is. Mine's Object Man in this case. And we're going to add in an event. The first event we're going to add in is one of the other events, and it's going to be the Room Start event. So when we start each level, Game Maker is going to do a couple of things. In your Control tab, we're going to select the first VAR or variable option here. It's inside the grey square. We're going to set a variable. The first variable that we're going to set is called room underscore start underscore score. And the value of that's going to be the score. So basically what that is saying is when we start a level, Game Maker is going to take note of what our score is and just keep that in its memory. Okay, if we are to die later on, it will reset our uh, score back to what it was at the start of the level. Okay, so when we start the level, we're going to take note of the score. We also need to set one more variable. So go back to the control tab and just set another variable. The other variable we want to set is called pass underscore level. And we want that value to be set to false. Okay, the only way we can pass a level in this game is by running into the finish line at the end of each level. If we have not hit that finish line, then our pass level value will be set to false, which means we haven't finished the level. Okay. So what we're going to do now is go into our collision with the finish line and do some more coding here. What we're going to do when we run into that finish line, we're going to set a variable again. And we're going to change the one we were just talking about. So it's pass underscore level and the value will be true. Okay, so when we do hit the finish line, we're going to change that variable called pass level, and we're going to put its value as true to show that yes, we have completed that level successfully. When you press OK, that variable, or that action, sorry, needs to be moved up the top of this actions box. Okay, that way it's going to work for every level. If you leave it at the bottom, it will only work for the first level. So make sure you drag it up and sit it at the top of your actions box there. Okay, so when we run into the finish line, we set the pass level var variable to true. The last event we need to add in is another other event, and it's the room end event. So this is when we've finished the level. So when we've finished the level, the first thing we want to do is make sure we've actually finished the level. So we test a variable. So we hit this middle VAR option here. What we're going to do is we're going to test the variable pass underscore level. And we want to see if it is equal to false. Because if it's equal to false, we haven't finished our level. We haven't hit the finish line. So click OK. So if that's the case, if we die and we haven't finished our level, what we need to do is set a variable. So let's go back to this square VAR. And what we're going to do is we're going to set our score. And we're going to set it to the room underscore start underscore score. Okay, so what that does is just resets our score back to what it was at the start of the level. And click on OK. Okay, so we've added three things in there today. When we start the room off, we just need to write down what our score is. Well, Game Maker will do that for us. And we also need to set pass level to false. That means we haven't finished our level yet. When we hit the finish line, that's when we can change our variable pass level to true. It means we have finished our level. And then when we get to the end of the room, first of all, we just check to see if we've actually hit the finish line. If so, oh sorry, if we haven't, then our score will reset back to what it was at the start of the level. Okay. 
If we do hit the finish line legitimately and the variable is set to true, then the score just keeps adding up. We don't need to tell GameMaker to do that anymore. So click OK. I know I'm not very good at explaining that, but if you um, save up your game and give it a test run at the top, we can test this out. Okay, so now when we get hit by the bad guys, we should be seeing our score reset to what it was at the start of the level. Okay, because this is a big game, it's probably going to take a little while just to compile. It usually takes about 20 or 30 seconds, so mine will just take a little while. Um, I can see that it's still loading up here. Okay, we've got some action now, so we're almost ready to play. Okay, so let's have a look. I'm going to go through and collect a few diamonds. Ow. And you can see when I died then, my score resetted back to zero. Now you want this to work for all levels. So I'm going to go through and collect a few diamonds here. Okay, so my score is at 100. And I'm going to go through to level 2 now. Okay, so what I want to happen here is, if I go and collect some gems and then get hit by this blue ghost, I want my score to reset back to 100. We don't want to lose those points that we got in the first level. So I'll go and up my score there to 200 points, and let's get hit by this ghost. There we go, so we can see our score did reset back to 100, what it was at the start of this level. So it still remembered our points that we collected in the first level, but it took away the ones we collected in level 2. Okay, so that seems to be working fine. Make sure you save that up, and if you want to take that home and play it, don't forget to go to File and Create an Application. Okay, that's all.